Okay, so as a swimmer, you're gonna make your way um, across the deck here, and you're gonna you're gonna end up. Some of this we have a lot of equipment here right now because we're doing our final cleanings and all of that. Okay, but imagine it's not here. This is gonna be your staging area as you're getting ready for swim practice to start. Okay, and we want you to wait here because we're gonna already have swimmers in the water. Okay, for most of the groups, most of the groups will have swimmers already in the water. Okay, so you're gonna wait here and take direction from the swim coaches um, before you are allowed to head to the other end with all of your equipment, okay? And you're gonna actually head to the other end and we're gonna put your bags down. Okay, so you're gonna make your way all the way down the pool deck. Okay, so this is kind of our usual corner at Avery, okay, at the Avery pool. Um, and these spaces are spaces where you can line up your swim bags. Okay. We want you guys to think smartly about this, okay, and not make a big swim bag pile where you're going to be breathing on other people's swimming stuff, okay? So lining up those swim bags one by one so that you can easily access them if you need to without touching anybody else's, okay? And we'll also have an area here for seating if in the event somebody needs to hop out of the pool and needs to sit down. All right, at this point, swimmers will take their equipment bags out, caps and goggles will be ready to be on, and they're gonna be um, getting ready to be in their pre-assigned lanes, okay? I know that swimmers generally have an idea of which lane they're in, but it's especially important to pre-assign because the way you are going to be swimming in your lane has to be based on how fast everybody can swim in their lane, okay? So unfortunately we can't have somebody who's remarkably slower um, at the end of the lane who's going to be getting constantly passed, okay? So right now we actually have the lane lines out because we are finishing putting the buoys on, um, but we will have the lane lines in marked with the buoys. You'll get behind your lane and you'll be assigned a, a specific position, okay? That position is usually going to be relative to either the wall or it's going to be relative to the orange buoys that are on the lane lines, okay? Now, you're probably thinking none of this makes any sense to me, right? That's okay because we're, in order for it to make sense, we all have to get in the water and do it anyways, okay? And then it'll start making sense, all right? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide a diagram um, of what I'm talking about, okay? of what a four lane configuration looks like with six swimmers per lane. And I'm hoping that will give you a better idea of how the spacing is gonna look. And then when we start swimming, it's like starting to march, okay? If you've ever marched, you know that everybody has to step off or they have to start walking at the exact same time. If they don't, then you are not going to be in sync, okay? So everyone will have to start swimming at the same time, all right? What I'm gonna do on Monday morning is hopefully get some better video live of some of our older swimmers um, who are actually gonna be learning this first, okay? And be able to give you guys a better idea as to how this is gonna work, okay? Now it's not foolproof, okay? Uh, swimmers know that once you put your head in the water, sometimes, um, you lose the you lose where you are um, in the position of the water. Okay, we're gonna try to be very uh, cognizant of where we are in the water, so that we know where everybody else is, so that we can say stay, stay um, distanced. All right. So once swim practice is over, all the swimmers are gonna exit the pool either on the long end of the pool or on the uh, the short end, depending on where their position is. And then they're gonna come over and they're gonna retrieve their bags, okay? And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna kind of walk towards the exit as I explain this, but um, kind of the name of the game that we're going with is, we want you to be here right on time, not really that early, and, and obviously not late, okay? Because we wanna limit the amount of time that you're exposed to other people within the facility, okay? So with that being said, as you go to leave the facility, we normally hop into the locker room, take a shower, do things like that. What I'm gonna encourage you to do is to wait for those things 
shower at home, simply either get dressed quickly or leave in your swimsuit so that you can actually um, get out of the facility as quickly as possible, okay? So now we're over back here by um, the guard chair and we have our arrow leading out, okay? And this is the door that we're going to leave at, okay? And then from here, um, again, you have your options. You can go through the observation room or you can go through any of our three locker rooms, okay? Men's locker room here, the family locker room, or the women's locker room. All right, once we get out of the locker room or um, the hallway from the observation room, um, we're gonna basically just head straight out the building, okay? Um, again, making sure that we're not um, uh, overly exposing ourselves to, you know, other people within the facility, um, and also just taking, you're probably gonna be hungry after some practice. So you're probably gonna wanna get out of there and eat pancakes. So we're gonna head out the front. Uh, you'll see some more social distancing here with just two chairs, okay? Um, and some more options down the hallway. Parents, if you're thinking, what am I gonna do if I have, um, if I need an indoor option, okay? And then we are going to scoot our way outside of the building. Okay, once you're outside, um, you can go ahead and wait. If you ever end up in a situation where you are inside and you are waiting for your ride, okay, make sure that you are using uh, common sense and providing that social distancing and using a mask if you cannot maintain that social distancing, okay? All right, guys, I know you probably still have a lot of questions and that is okay, um, but, I'm happy to have you guys back. I'm excited to see you guys on Monday. Um, I hope this video helps you guys understand kind of where we are as a why and what we are ready to do for you guys um, to get you guys back in the water. Um, we're proud of all the work that's been done and I am really looking forward to seeing you guys on Monday. Thanks guys.